Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Agile Technical Tester. We are getting started with the chapter 4 which is uh, the last chapter of this particular series and we have got two topics under that 4.1 continuous integration and continuous testing with continuous delivery and 4.2 as service virtualization. To get started with 4.1 we do have some topics here where we are talking about the very first topic today is 4.1.1 that is continuous integration and its impact on testing. So from the earlier sessions and from the basics of Agile certification we already know that what is continuous integration, what's the benefits of that, what kind of challenges do we face and what kind of characteristics does the uh, continuous integration brings to the environment and what precautions and what steps need to be taken to make sure that everything is intact and happens on time because we are talking about a very short and quick sprints which would be having a lot of frequent continuous integration to get the frequent feedback but at the same time the testing obviously adds a lot of side effect of that so how we should be prepared how should we address those issues which is what we will be talking in terms of impact on the testing the aim of the continuous integration is to provide fast feedback so if defects are introduced into the code they are found and fixed as soon as possible so we are obviously aware of the technical depth concept where we don't want to keep any technical depth which would be pending from the previous iteration and carried forward to the next iteration that would generally create a lot of issues and pressure when it comes to short simple iterations Agile tester should contribute to the design, implementation and maintenance of the effective and efficient CI process not only in terms of creating and maintaining the automated tests that fit within the CI framework but also in terms of prioritizing the test, the necessary environment, configuration and many other like that. Generally in an ideal situation with CI, once the code is built all automated tests are then run to verify that the software continues to behave as defined and has not been damaged by the code changes. So the most important aspect of this particular input is that when we try to integrate to an existing module or existing code, we just try to see that the new integration is not impacting the existing and obviously very validated with respect to the regression test. However, there are two conflicting goals. One, execute the CI process frequently to obtain immediate feedback on the code. Second, verify the code as thoroughly as possible after each build. Now that is what is more important to be done with respect to continuous integration. Every time you have a CI or integration happening, it's really more important for you to take care that this integration is not impacting any error and try to test as thoroughly as possible so that nothing is left out because probably tomorrow you will have a lot of technical debt and resolving that will be highly complex. When adequate care is not taken in design, implementation and maintenance of the automated test, executing all the automated tests will take too long for the CI process to be completed multiple times per day. Even with careful automation, it can be the case that complete execution of all mode automated tests across all test levels would slow down the CI process excessively. So I think we have already discussed this in the previous chapter when we were talking about the automation test in Agile. It did say that, of course, uh, you know, continuously you are executing that, but from time to time it will pile up the test, accumulate together, and the test suite will become longer and bigger. So recall that thought that will help you to understand more about this specific. Different organizations have different priorities and different projects need different solutions to find the tight balance between the goals mentioned up. For example, if a system is stable and changes less frequently, then the fewer CUI cycles are needed. If the system is being updated constantly, then more cycles of CI are most likely to be needed. But yes, these are the problems, but what are the solutions? Moving up next is to understand what are the different solutions. So there are solutions that support both the goals, which are complementary and can be used in parallel as well. The very first is to prioritize testing so that the basic and most important tests are always executed by using a risk-based testing approach. However, 
There's another solution, which we call it as a second solution, to enable different test configurations in the CI process to be used for different types of CF cycles. For the daily build and the test process, only the basic tests selected based on upfront prioritization are executed. For the nightly CI process, a larger number of possibly all of the functional tests which do not require the pre-production environment are executed. The third solution is to speed up the test execution by decreasing the amount of user interface testing. As we probably know that, you know, when you talk about user interface, it requires a lot of time to be invested there. Usually, there are no time issues completing the execution of unit or integration tests. That's our automated simple test. It goes faster, which generally runs very quickly. A situation might arise where so many unit tests exist that they cannot be completely executed during the CI process. The real issue with time generally are related to the use of end-to-end -end UI test cases as part of the CI process. Additionally, the solution for this situation is to increase the amount of API, command line, data layer, service layer, and other non-UI business logic testing and decrease the UI testing. Pushing the automation effort down on the test automation pyramid would be very helpful. This ensures more maintainable test, but also reduces the test execution time. The fourth solution can be used when test executions are very frequent in a CI system, and it is impossible to run all the test cases. Based on the code modification and knowledge of the execution traits of the existing test cases, a developer or tester can select and execute only those test cases affected by the changes. Since only a small fraction of the whole code base is modified during the short cycle, relatively few test cases have to be executed. Additionally, a fifth solution is to split the test suites into equally sized chunk and run them in parallel on multiple environments. This is very commonly applied to companies using CI because they already need a lot of build server capacity. Now also, we're talking about some of the important part here, which is with respect to what kind of tool support and system can be helpful when talking about CI. The current CI tools support not only continuous integration, but continuous delivery as well and continuous deployment. Running automated tests in an environment that does not completely replicate production can lead to false negative situations, but cloning the production environment can be cost excessive. Now, what's the solution for this? Of course, the solution includes using cloud testing environment that replicate the production environment on an as-needed basis. Or creating a test environment that is a scaled-down but realistic version of the production. You know, you can minimize the efforts required for the environment to set up a small piece of it but replicate the same thing, a similar situation, which will be helpful for you to get a sure confirmation on what things are you doing and what kind of requirements does the environment has. A good CI system needs to be able to automatically deploy or on more complex environments and different platforms. The tester's task here is to plan which test cases to include, prioritize, which have to be executed on some or all platforms in order to maintain good coverage and to design test cases to efficiently validate the software in a production-like environment. So I think this is what we actually wanted to understand with respect to the continuous integration and its impact on testing. We saw similar goals. Some of the goals are complicated, but of course we had different solutions provided to you depending on the type of your organization and working structure. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else beyond this, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address and answer your queries. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team, and happy learning.